All right, just jump right to announcements. Does anyone have any new announcements that they would like to throw out? Well, I got a little announcement. We have a rise event coming up in a couple of weeks. It's time to go out to that horse races again. On the 24th, which is a Friday, good time of year to take a cut off work a little bit early or whatever. The horse racing starts about 3 o'clock. So we're going to have a group of us there hanging out, and then we'll stick, you know, people want to stick around and go to the fair, but it's a great way, fun way to go uh, participate and see the fair and see some of your friends and have a good time. So mark it on your calendar. Come on out on the 24th, 3 o'clock, down in Ferndale. We'll have a spot kind of in front there. Bring your chair. So I saw you throw the hat on. Does that mean it's a uh, rotary, rotary hat day? No, well, you can do whatever you want. People, a lot of people wear hats because the sun's shining out there. It should be a, you know, hopefully a beautiful day, so we'll go for it. Perfect. We'll try to get a group together for that. All right. Uh, oh, I have one. Um, next Wednesday, we're going to have a meeting for the Spree fundraiser um, here at 530. And we really want to nail down what we want to do different, the um, timing of the event, we want to change it. So we're going to have some real specific topics to discuss so we can get the ball rolling for our spring uh, fundraiser. So I hope some of you that are interested in helping will be here. Also next Monday, uh, sorry, go ahead. What day was that? Wednesday. So not Wednesday, but next Monday at 5.30 over at the Grill, uh, the Youth Exchange Committees, the Combined Committees of Arcata Sunrise, Arcata Noon, and uh, Mad River will meet and uh, discuss the upcoming exchange years. And anybody who hasn't been involved in the Youth Exchange Program, uh, if you'd like to come and attend the meeting, you're welcome to join as a guest and see what we're all about and what we do. Thanks. So I want to say something just on that note. So yesterday I was in San Francisco and I got a text from in Earl a Rotarian from our group in San Ramon. And she said that her husband just went over the airport to go pick up an exchange student and then he spent the night because he was stranded in San Francisco. That's okay. And, <laughs> and, and so he went and stayed with Scott and Lynette and then they took him back to the airport yesterday morning so he could fly to Arcata. And I said, well, what road to, what road did he get? And she didn't know. And it was like, I don't know, 8 o'clock in the way read about 8 o'clock in the morning. I was just leaving and I didn't find out later that he was from Mad River. I could have given him a ride home. <laughs> <laughs> well, <coughs> no small world. I would have brought him this morning, but I thought that would have been a little <laughs> too much. Yeah, because he, he had a long day yeah. getting here from, from Italy. And then we picked him up at the airport and let him catch his breath and then took him to a search for him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought well, he could drinking might just running with a little bit left. Scott and Lynette are going to come up and visit our group. They're going to go to Terrence. Oh, nice. Yeah. They've done this program for quite some time. So oh, perfect. We'd love to. Yeah. I'd yeah. love to read it. Yeah. And yeah. thank him, please, for doing that. Because sure, he was at SFO at midnight or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, next time, you just you drag him and tell him that sunrise is the time to be here. <laughs> <laughs> He's Italian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never mind. You made the right choice. So next Tuesday on the 7th, the Arcata Police Department and the Fire Department and the Sheriff's Office, they're having their uh, national night out at Arcata Community Center from 6 to 8 p.m. So you can bring the kids out. It's going to be a barbecue. Um, there's going to be a bounce house, a uh, water balloon toss. We're going to have Scruff McGruff there, which I'm personally excited about. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Have a dance contest, and so I'm gonna put, put flyers on everyone's table. Nice. Cool. Anything else? So if everyone notices, you want to throw a talk about the yeah. So um, as you know, last October for the Santa Rosa fire, you know we put a trailer of goodies together to take down to Ukiah, um, and this year I reached out and talked to. Ray early in the week because I was away, but um, looking for you know somebody either from Car from the Rotary Group in Road of Reading or maybe in Weaverville, maybe they're having a setup stage there, or even for the Lakeport. So I reached out yesterday and I didn't get any, really any response from the people that I know that I reached out to for the Santa Rosa fire, but I did download this sheet yesterday and it sounds like they're um, taking donations if anybody's interested. So all the information is on the sheet. It's tables to you want to take a picture of it or write it down, it's all right there. And we're going to still see what we can do if we get some response from somebody 
we're, we're in contact with a few other Rotary clubs. We're going to try to get something together, hopefully for next week. Yeah. So we'll keep looking for that information. So. Um, the District 5130 has a fire relief fund that you can send donations to as well, and I can send you the link. Right, and, and we do have that, and we can send that out to the entire club. We just kind of want to try to do something that's a little, a little more, a little different, a little, make it a little more personal for our club. And I, want to be the, the links for that will be in the next spirit. So, Perfect. so look for the spirit, and and we'll have links to. Also, do you hear uh, people displaced because they lost their home or have been evacuated? We have space for eight in our home, and so we've been trying to post it connected. We're not sure how to get the right people to see it. So, if you happen to know somebody who is out of their home and they need a place for a month or a year, whatever it is, we've got space. I, I have an Airbnb, and Airbnb is allowing people to just put their homes on, and it only is advertised to people in the affected area, and you just say it's zero. So that's what I did. I made my Airbnb cost zero to the people in the affected area. Thank you. So, you just set it up through that. Mm -hmm. so. And I'll get you some other contact information for that, too. And I have contact information, because we are an evacuation yeah. center, so I have four numbers of Weaverville and Reading that are telling people that people contact. Well, we'll perhaps talk about that in your presentation. We'll get those numbers and we'll put them in our sunrise. So, perfect. So.